It's over, Obi Wan. I have the high ground. Oh yeah, Anakin. Well, now you have the sand ground. Ah, stop it! You know how much I don't like sand. I am not going to leave here without you knowing that I have loved you, brother. And I do not regret a single moment of my life I've spent with you, except for when I left you for dead on Mustafa. You know the worst thing about you, brother. My timing. Shh. Bring it in, bro. Ewan McGregor has returned to Star Wars after 17 years. Obi-Wan Kenobi is the 2022 uh, uh, Star Wars uh, spin-off show uh, to premiere on Disney Plus from May to June 2022, consisting of six parts uh, and, and tells the story of uh, o retired Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi, played uh, once again by Ewan McGregor, uh, who played him in the prequels uh, perfectly. And he's become a hermit like uh, Luke in The Last Jedi. He's done with the Jedi way of life after the events of Revenge of the Sith have just uh, damaged him. Uh, but uh, uh, one, when Leia, uh, the sister of uh, uh, Luke, uh, who uh, Obi-Wan is watching over on Tatooine, is uh, kidnapped and taken from her home of Alderaan, uh, Bail Organa uh, calls upon Obi-Wan to uh, rescue her and bring her home safely which Obi-Wan reluctantly agrees and uh, uh, forms a special friendship with Leia as well as uh, uh, it uh, tries uh, to evade and redeem a uh, former Jedi, the third sister, aka Raver, and uh, confront uh, his uh, older friend, a slasher arch nemesis, uh, Darth Vader, also known as uh, Anakin Skywalker. Now, uh, uh, I... Uh, uh, was under the impression that uh, uh, Obi-Wan uh, had zero haters, you know, e Ewan McGregor's back, uh, you get, uh, uh, well, uh, far more Darth Vader than uh, we ever could have anticipated. We we get uh, uh, young Leia, young Luke, uh, rave as a badass. I would have thought you'd have to be clinically insane to not think this was a, a good show. I mean, uh, it's especially after the ball that was the book of Boba Fett earlier this year, but yeah, so I'm gonna get it out there. I uh, uh, do not get the hate. I don't give a shit about these Star Wars haters anymore and the toxic fanboys in it because these are the same fanboys that have bullied and sent death threats to poor Jake Lloyd, Kelly Mary Tran, and uh, Raver's actress. And Ewan McGregor rightfully defended Raver, saying those fanboys are, di are disgusting and not true Star Wars fans to do that. And they, they are never satisfied with anything. First they trashed the prequels, then uh, they trashed the sequel trilogy, and now uh, they are... Uh, uh, shitting on Obi-Wan. <laughs> well, unlike them, I am not closed-minded and see and can see uh, what a great job Disney and Lucasfilm did with Obi-Wan and how much it respects Obi-Wan's character, you know. This was the story we needed to see to fix all the plot holes in between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. And while Obi-Wan is not uh, quite the masterpiece show I predicted it would be, and it's not quite my favourite show of 2022, that would be Miss Marvel, uh, but it is still the best Star Wars show since The Clone Wars, so I am uh, not afraid uh, to speak my mind and give this show a positive review, even with a uh, toxic uh, Star Wars fanboys on social media. Uh, and, uh, uh, the f and first things first, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ewan McGregor, for reprising your role as Obi-Wan, I mean, uh, but, I mean, boy, have we missed you, and, uh, I mean, uh, he was even an executive producer on this show, so you could see how passionate he was to, to return. 
and Obi-Wan is a, not a perfect character in this show, you know, he does need a little uh, convincing to do what's right, you know, he's become like Simba in, in The Lion King, you know, uh, he, he, uh, he wants nothing to do with his original life after the tragedy that occurs. But to Bail Organa is like the Nala and Rafiki and Mufasa's ghost to knock some sense into uh, Obi Wan. Uh, that's uh, uh, that he can't just to uh, spend the rest of his days uh, hiding out on Tatooine forever, particularly when uh, poor Leia is in peril. And you and McGregor, uh, I humbly believe, uh, uh, gives uh, his. Uh, most fabulous performance as Obi-Wan yet. I mean, both uh, being, both showing Obi-Wan at his uh, most uh, badass and fearless to also uh, uh, handling being the emotional moments with extreme care. It uh, reminds us of why Obi-Wan is one of the greatest Star Wars characters uh, of them all. And the actress they got to play young Leia, I mean, uh, one was, uh, Flawless, yeah. Uh, she is the greatest child actress uh, in Star Wars of all time. Finally, a great child actor in Star Wars. I mean, uh, and I mean, no offense, Jake Lloyd, but uh, and and she's extremely mature and sophisticated for, for her age. And, and the uh, pure bonds that uh, she and Obi Wan have throughout the six episodes. Uh, uh, answers the unanswered question from A New Hope, how the heck does a Leia know of Obi-Wan? Well, now we know why. And the character of Rave, a freaking amazing character. Why does she get so much hate? I mean, and, and uh, the opening flashback to an extended version of Order 66 and, and the flashback to her as a youngling in episode 5, I mean, really made you see why she would want uh, Vader's head after what he did uh, to, to her uh, Je Jedi pals. And uh, the fact that she uh, pretended to be a Sith to infiltrate the Empire, I mean, that is one of the smartest and ballsiest plans a Jedi has ever had, yeah. Uh, uh, and and Raver got some redemption at the end. Uh, she finally woke up and could see that, uh, you know, uh, killing Luke, uh, Vader's son, was not so going uh, to uh, make her uh, make her happy. Uh, and while young Luke's child actor didn't really have any lines of dialogue, it was still... Uh, uh, it, uh, great to see him there, and, and Baru and uh, Owen uh, were actually did something in this show. They were willing uh, to put themselves right in front of uh, Rayla's blade uh, uh, to uh, protect uh, their, their nephew uh, in uh, the finale. And uh, of course, uh, we cannot forget about uh, the return of Star Wars' most iconic antagonist, uh, Cue uh, the, his theme. Dun 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 dun. Vader is badass as fuck in the show. I mean, whoa! They 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 couldn't have gotten Vader more spot on. Huge kudos to both James L. Jones, who provided his voice, and uh, Hayden Christensen, who provided the physical performance. But this it's sad to think that this could be James L. Jones' uh, final performance as Darth Vader, as he is getting on now in his 90s. But I much preferred Vader here to uh, the Rogue One Vader, as Vader was... He got the screen time in this show that I wish he had in Rogue One, and... Uh, and, and it made sense that Raver, you know, was pretending to work for Vader in the I was initially uh, predicting that she was working for Darth Maul, but uh, but uh, uh, but but were her working for Darth Vader is even better, as we've seen Obi-Wan and Darth Maul clash enough times in, in the Clone Wars, but uh, we haven't really seen Obi-Wan and Vader go at it in a TV show. And... Both showdowns that Obi-Wan and Vader show in Episode 3 and Episode 6 are the most epic that they have ever had in, in the saga. And Episode 3's one was 
particularly brutal when Vader dragged Obi-Wan through fire with the Force. That was mirroring, uh, you know, uh, what uh, Obi-Wan did to Anakin uh, when uh, after their duel on Mustafar from uh, Re Revenge of the Sith. And uh, uh, the final fight in Episode 6 was, of course, uh, the it was the icing on the cake. And we got a slight glimpse of uh, Vader's uh, uh, face uh, underneath his mask, and 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 it uh, also fixes the plot hole of why Obi Wan just uh, called uh, Vader Vader instead of Anakin in A New Hope. As after their conversation here, Obi Wan finally accepted that uh, that he could not turn Anakin back, and convinced his friend was truly dead, uh, killed by Vader. And the uh, uh, cameo and uh, by uh, Hayden Christensen as young Anakin uh, from Attack of the Clones, and uh, the flashback to Anakin and Obi Wan training in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. So it's a, uh, it, I mean, it, it's uh, uh, was a wish uh, come true to have a uh, Hayden back as not just Vader but Anakin himself. Are Twenty years after Attack of the Clones, coincidentally, and that flashback just goes to show why Obi Wan will always best Anakin in a duel, as uh, Anakin's need for victory blinded him, whereas Obi Wan's patience was his reward. And it was also a nice touch to uh, uh, actually get an insight into Leia's uh, uh, life growing up on Alderaan, as we never saw that in in A New Hope. And Alderaan is gorgeous, and and her. And her mother actually gets some more lines of dialogue. And Leia's pet droid was the most adorable Star Wars droid since uh, BB-8. And uh, she and she served a great uh, narrative purpose too. Yeah, you thought this was just uh, going to be a show about Obi-Wan uh, watching over Luke on Tatooine. Boy, were you mistaken. I know it looks like I'm about to grant the show the rank of Jedi Master, but uh, is it uh, without its flaws? Uh, uh, I'm afraid not. Uh, the uh, biggest uh, uh, bummer of this show is the lack of tension with uh, the characters that we know are going to appear in the original trilogy. Like, whenever Obi-Wan and Leia were in mortal peril, we knew they were going to come out of it alive because they're in A New Hope. So it was pointless making us think for an instant they were going to die. And uh, uh, when when somebody does die, it's a it's a character who that we barely spent time with and uh, and don't know anything about. And if I were to do a episode ranking, episode four would overall be uh, the weakest. Although uh, that doesn't mean it's bad. I don't think there's a single uh, uh, a bad episode here. It just had the least uh, memorable moments and uh, the lowest stakes to it. <laughs> but uh, and then uh, episode two would be my second least favourite, and then episode one. And episode three would be high at, uh, at number three, of course, uh, due to the Obi-Wan and Vader uh, rematch, and uh, episode five would be my second favourite. The uh, Raver and uh, Vader lightsaber duel uh, was uh, exquisite. I'm glad uh, that Raver survived and was able to heal herself from being stabbed, uh, like, just like Ray's Forcer healing powers in The Rise of Skywalker, making The Rise of Skywalker more canon than the fans say. But uh, are you even surprised that that's episode 6, the finale, is my favourite episode? That finale is a near masterpiece, and, and we get two special uh, cameos uh, from Palpatine himself. Even if it's just a, a briefer hologram appearance, uh, it, uh, I mean... It's still a miracle he did show up in this show because Palpatine has barely he barely shows up after Revenge of the Sith and just spends his time as sitting in a chair letting Vader do all his dirty work. And but the greatest cameo was uh, Qui Gon. I mean that uh, actually resolves uh, the cliffhanger of Revenge of the Sith when Yoda uh, told Obi Wan about teaching him to communicate with Qui Gon. So overall, the Force is pretty damn strong with uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and uh, I, I uh, w wouldn't mind um, marathoning this show uh, again. I give Obi-Wan Kenobi four stars out of five. Great show. 
So yeah, if Disney and Lucasfilm did not greenlight a season two, I would be perfectly satisfied as I think uh, the uh, finale was the uh, perfect uh, 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 way uh, to, well, end uh, Obi-Wan's uh, story before, you know, he becomes the Ben Kenobi that we know him in uh, episode four. Uh, so, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. What are your thoughts on Obi-Wan Kenobi? Are you with me in that it's uh, one of the uh, uh, all-time great Star Wars shows, or or are you with the haters and uh, found it so to be uh, an insult to, to uh, uh everything that Obi-Wan stands for. Please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you all next time. And remember, movies are us. Bye guys.